Okay, harmony, let's read number five, please. Mm -hmm. So when you see the word ratio, it means we have a common variable. So that mean, means we have one X to two X. Since I know it's got to be a right triangle, an acute angle is in a right triangle. Let's see what that is. So in a right triangle, we have a 90 degrees. This right here is an acute, one X and two X. So I can either set this equal to 180 or 90. What do you guys prefer? 90? So I could set these two equal to 90. 2x plus 1x must be 90. 3x must be 90. So therefore, x must be 30. It says to find the measures of these. So if I have 30 on one of them, the other one's double that, must be 60. Voila. Okay? Are we good with this one? Okay, let's go on to the back, and you guys ask for number eight. Okay, Joey, let's read number eight, please. So we have the distance between the crime scene A, B, and C. What could be important? If we're looking at distance between three different crime scenes, what are we actually looking at? What shape? A triangle. A triangle. So according to the rule of the triangle, I need to take two smaller sides and it must be greater than the third, correct? Mm -hmm. So on A, we have three plus three. So if I were to write it out, three plus three must be greater than seven. Is that true? No. So it's not gonna be a triangle. I'm gonna put X on there. On B, the two smaller side is seven plus four. So seven plus four must be bigger than eight. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. So I can stop right there and say, hey, I have my B. Now, when you do check C and D, it's not gonna work out. So I think we're done, we're good with the B. Everyone good with that? That's a good reminder. Okay, on number 12, Nathan, let's read. Okay, just by the given, let's put in our notations, and by that, our A as an angle, S as an side. These two angles are given to be congruent. Is there another notation I could put in A or the S? We have our S. And then we have understood what angles are always congruent to. Good, vertical angles are always congruent to. So if I were to look at this in a consecutive manner, it is angle, angle, side. So it says, which theorem or postulate? Angle, angle, side, congruence. That's a good reminder. Can I say angle, side, angle? No. No, because then I'm skipping a side and I'm skipping an angle. How many are you allowed to skip? One. Just one. Okay? So that was unit four.